I, Paul, am under Yahuwah's plan as an apostle, a special agent of Yahushua, writing to you faithful believers in Ephesus. I greet you with the grace and peace poured into our lives by Yahuwah, our Father, and our Master, Yahushua. How blessed is Yahuwah, and what a blessing he is. He's the father of our master Yahushua and takes us to the high places of blessing in him. Long before he laid down earth's foundation, he had us in mind, had settled on us as the focus of his love to be made whole and holy by his love. Long, long ago, he decided to adopt us into the, his family through Yahushua. What pleasure he took in planning this. He wanted us to enter into the celebration of his lavish gift given by the hand of his beloved son. Because of the sacrifice of the Messiah, his blood poured out on the altar of the cross. We're a free people, free of penalties and punishments chalked up by all our misdeeds and not just barely free either abundant abundantly free he thought of everything provided for everything we could possibly need letting us in on the plans he took such delight in making he set it all out before us in yahushua a long-range plan in which everything would be brought together and summed up in him. Everything in deepest heaven, Shamayim, everything on planet Earth. It's in Yahushua that we find, we find out who we are and what we are living for. Long before we first heard of Yahushua and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us had designs on us for glorious living, part of the overall purpose he is working out in everything and everyone. It's in Yahushua that you, once you heard the truth and believe it, the message of your salvation, found yourselves home free, signed, sealed, and delivered by the Holy Spirit the Ruach HaKadosha. This down payment from Yahuwah is the first installment on what's coming, a reminder that we'll get everything Yahuwah has planned for us, a praising and glorious life. That's why when I heard of the solid trust you have in Master Yahushua and your outpouring of love to all the followers of Yahushua, I couldn't stop thinking Yahuwah Yahuwah for you. Every time I prayed, I think of you and give thanks, but I do more than thank. I ask. Ask Yahuwah of our master Yahushua, the Yahuwah of glory, to make you intelligent and discerning in knowing him personally, your eyes focused and clear so that you can see exactly what it is he is calling you to do. Grasp that immensity of this glorious way of life he has for his followers. Oh, the utter extravagance of his work in us who trust him. Endless energy, boundless strength. All this energy issues from Yahushua. Yahuwah raised him from death and set him on the throne in deep heaven, Shamayim, in charge of running the universe, everything from galaxy, galaxies to governments, no name and no power exempt from his rule, and not just for the time being, but forever. He is in charge of it all, has the final word on everything. At the center of all this, Yahushua rules the church. The church, you see, is not peripheral, peripheral to the world. The world is peripheral to the church. The church is Yahushua's body in which he speaks and acts, by which he fills everything with his presence. 
It wasn't so long ago that you were murdered in that old stagnant life of sin. You let the world, which doesn't know the first thing about living, tell you how to live. You filled your lungs with polluted unbelief and then exhaled disobedience. We all did it, all of us doing what we felt like doing when we felt like doing it, all of us in the same boat. It's a wonder Yahuwah didn't lose his temper and do away with the whole lot of us. Instead, immense in mercy and with an incredible love, he embraced us. He took our sin dead lives and made us alive in Yahushua. He did all this on his own with no help from us. Then he picked us up and set us down in highest heaven in company with Yahushua, our Messiah. Now Yahuwah has us where he wants us with all the time in the world and the next to shower grace and kindness upon us in Yahushua. Saving is all his idea and all his work all we do is trust him enough to let him do it. It's Yahuwah's gift from start to finish. We don't play the major role. If we did, we'd probably go around bragging that we'd done the whole thing. No, we neither make nor save ourselves. Yahuwah does both, the making and saving. He creates each of us by Yahushua to join him in the work he does, the good work he has gotten ready for us to do, work we had better be doing. But don't take any of this for granted. It was only yesterday that you outsiders to Yahuwah's ways had no idea of any of this, didn't know the first thing about the way Yahuwah works, hadn't the faintest idea of Yahushua. You knew nothing of that rich history of Yahuwah's covenants and promises in Israel. Hadn't a clue about what Yahuwah was doing in the world at large. Now because of Yahushua dying, that death, shedding that blood, you who were once out of it altogether are in on everything. The Messiah has made things up between us so that we're now together on this, both non-Jewish outsiders and Jewish insiders. He tore down the wall we used to keep each other at a distance. He repealed the law code that had become so clogged with fine print and footnotes that it hindered more than it helped. Then he started over, instead of continuing with two groups of people separated by centuries of animosity and suspicion, he created a new kind of human being, a fresh start for everybody. Yahushua brought us together through his death on the cross. The cross got us to embrace, and that was the end of the hostility. Yahushua came and preached pre peace to you outsiders and peace to us insiders. He treated us as equals and so made us equals. Through him we both share the same spirit and have equal access to the Father. That's plain enough, isn't it? You're no longer wandering exiles. This kingdom of faith is now your home country. You're no longer strangers or outsiders. You belong here with as much right to the name believer as anyone. Yahuwah is building a home. He's using us all, irrespective of how we got here and what he is building. He used the apostles and prophets for the foundation. Now he's using you fitting you in brick by brick, stone by stone, with Yahushua as the cornerstone that holds all the parts together. We see it taking shape day after day, a holy temple built by Yahuwah, 
all of us built into it a temple in which Yahuwah is quiet at home. This is why I, Paul, am in jail for Yahushua, having taken up the cause of you outsiders, so-called. I take it that you're familiar with the part I was given in Yahuwah's plan for including everybody. I got the inside story on this from Yahuwah himself, as I just wrote you in book brief. As you read over what I have written to you, you'll be able to see for yourselves into the mystery of Yahushua. None of our ancestors understood this. Only in our time has it been made clear by Yahuwah's Spirit through the holy apostles and prophets of this new order. The mystery is that people who have never heard of Yahuwah and those who have heard of him all their lives, what I've been calling outsiders and insiders, stand on the same ground before Yahuwah. They get the same offer, same help, same promises in Yahushua. The message is accessible and welcoming to everyone across the board. This is my life work, helping people understand and respond to this message. It came as a sheer gift to me, a real surprise, Yahuwah handling all the details when it came to presenting the message to people who had no background in Yahuwah's way. I was the least qualified of any of the available believers. Yahuwah saw to it that I was equipped, but you can be sure that it had nothing to do with my natural abilities. And so, here I am preaching and writing about things that are way over my head. The inexhaustible riches and generosity of Yahushua. My task is to bring out in the open and make plain what Yahuwah, who created all this in the first place, has been doing in secret and behind the scenes all along. Through followers of Yahushua, like yourselves, gathered in churches, this extraordinary plan of Yahuwah is becoming known and talked about even among the angels. All this is proceeding along lines planned all along by Yahuwah and then executed in Yahushua. When we trust in Him, we're free to say whatever needs to be said, bold to go wherever we need to go so don't let my present trouble on your behalf get you down be proud my response is to get down on my knees before the father this magnificent father who parcels out all heaven and earth i ask him to strengthen you by his spirit not a brute strength, but a glorious inner strength that Yahushua will live in you. And as you open the door and invite him in, and I ask him that with both feet planted firmly on love, you'll be able to take in with all followers of Yahushua the extravagant dimensions of Yahushua's love. Reach out and experience the breadth Test its length, plump the depth, rise to the heights. Live full lives, full in the fullness of Yahuwah. Yahuwah can do anything you know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us, his spirit deeply and gently within us. Glory to Yahuwah in the church. Glory to Yahuwah in the Messiah in Yahushua. Glory down all the generations. Glory through all millennia. Oh yes.